All right, so let's put relationship stories aside for a little bit and do work stories. I should do a good one that really kind of establishes the tone that you should be expecting from these. I was a pizza delivery driver for a long time, and one day I went to deliver an order to a house. I don't remember how big the order was, but it had a number of items in it. It was going to be a little bit of a hassle. And when I got there, the guy starts into this whole thing asking how much it's going to cost. I told him, you know, here's the price, just like you were told on the phone. He goes, he starts into like, oh, well, you know, I don't know if I actually have that much on hand, like, you know, and I'm just like, look, they told you the price on the phone. Like when you ordered the food, they told you how much it was going to cost. If you couldn't afford it, why did you place this order? Why didn't you change it then? So he starts going, well, you know, maybe you could cut me a deal. Do you think you could just cut me a deal? Maybe this one time, you know. Now, people try this crap on and off and I have zero patience for it so I told him no of course I told him no he starts oh well you know come on please maybe just help me out a little bit here you know maybe just cut a little bit off and I was like no here's the price the price that was listed is the price it's gonna be like it, I'm thinking it's bad enough I'm not gonna get tip I'm not gonna cut the price for you too so he goes, look, I don't know why you're, like, trying to protect your company so much. They can eat the damage. Like, it's not going to be a big deal. No one's getting hurt here. Just, you know, just cut me a bit of a deal. What's it matter? And I told him, I said, look, buddy, you seem to be confused about how this works. See, when I sign the paper saying that I'm taking your order, I now owe the store the amount of money that they get off of that order. So whatever that amount is, I owe that to them. So if I cut you a deal, that money doesn't come out of their wallet. You're right. They don't get hurt at all. That money comes out of my wallet, which means what you're trying to do here, as clever as you're trying to be, is you're not actually trying to rob the store. You're trying to rob me. And unlike my boss, I know where you live. I've seen how many windows are on your building. I get out of work in the middle of the night and have very little to lose. I actually got a pretty good tip on that one, uh, though oddly enough, they never ordered again.